Hello, I'm Mario Gardner on FM 90 WOPR. The next solid half hour will be dedicated to Piper Martin and Melanie Ezel in Detroit, two good friends of mine. The music will be something I can never get enough of, Motown. Jeff Sandler's coming up to continue on with the 250 hours of consecutive music for Marathon 84. Well, we've got something coming up next by Prince, and incidentally, the album... Purple Rain, that's right. The soundtrack. The movie, the soundtrack from Purple Rain. Comes out today. So all you females who are Wait a minute, waiting, females. I happen to know a whole bunch of males who happen to love Prince music. Not so. like you females, though. I'm sorry. That's true. That's true. You're right. <laughs> so you run out and you get that album today. Okay. When Dolls Cry is up next, the numbers to call and pledge, once again, are... 546-0073. And 548-9677. Also, 548-WOPER. Side effects of cancer treatment drugs or chemotherapy is one of the most frequently addressed areas in this field. Why do patients lose their hair and experience other discomforts? Here are some facts on the issue. Just as weed killers kill some healthy plants, chemotherapy kills some healthy cells. During reproduction, when the cell is dividing, the cell is most vulnerable to chemotherapy. Thus, cancer treatment drugs are designed to eliminate the rapidly dividing cancer cells in the reproduction stage. However, cancer cells are not the only rapid dividers. Many normal cells have this property as well. Examples are cells in the hair follicles, digestive tract, and bone marrow. To minimize side effects, leukemia treatment calls for the use of drugs in combinations in varying intensities and only for limited durations. Specialists know that, though some healthy cells may be affected, the alternative leaves little room for other choices. Please donate to the Children's Leukemia Foundation through WOPR's Marathon 84. To pledge, call 548-9677 or 546-0073. Where can you hear great music, informative interviews, and much more for 250 consecutive hours and benefit the Children's Hospital of Michigan at the same time? Right here, only on FM 90 WOPR, Oak Park's public radio station, when we present Marathon 83 in cooperation with the Children's Hospital of Michigan. Beginning on Friday, June 10th at 7 in the morning and continuing through Tuesday, June 21st at 5 in the afternoon, listeners are encouraged to make donations which will benefit the Children's Hospital and help cover the station's operating costs. Pledges can be made by calling 548-WOPR or 546-0073. And all pledges, by the way, are tax deductible. The marathon will include interviews with hospital personnel, special music programming, talk shows, and celebrity interviews. A highlight of the marathon will feature guest air personalities from the Detroit metro area radio stations. So tune in to Marathon 83 and help the Children's Hospital of Michigan and FM 90 WOPR, where there's something for everyone. Sweet Lou Whitaker had two doubles and feedback a triple and a homer as the Tigers walloped the Red Sox 6-3. In that game, Jack Morris picked up his fifth win to even his record at 5-5. Five and five. The Tigers now have a chance tonight to sweep Boston at Fenway Park, something they haven't done since April of 1973. Feedback won Sandy nothing. This has been FM 90 Sports with Sandy Glad, and now back to Cynthia with weather.